welcome to student corner today we'll discuss about the topic called as time and work so what is time and work using unitary method is if a can fill a piece of work can finish a piece of work in 60 days then a in one day it can be done one by 60th part of the work this is the only basic thing that if you can do and if you can know the knowledge of a 60 days a in one day one by 60th part of the work then the whole concept of time and work is based on this and secondly whenever there is a particular relation between men days and all it is always m1 d1 is equal to m2 d2 because the men and days are always indirectly variated so only depending upon these two concepts let us do that is a unitary method and the direct and indirect variation using this let us do some problems on time and work now the first basic question is like if four men or six women can do a piece of work in 24 days so it is four men or or means is equal to six women they can do it in 24 days so either four men can do it in 24 days or six women can do it in 24 days that is a according to the given question that is a resultant now the question is then how many men should accompany with three women how many men should we let us assume that the how many men is x men should accompany with three women to complete the work in 16 days so three women should be completing it in 16 days so this is what we need to find out so this x need to be find out so when four men is equal to six women the indirect relation is two men is equal to three women that is the indirect relation given so instead of three women you can place two men so we are very clear four men can do it in 24 days m1 d1 that is 4 into 24 is equal to x men and two men total x plus two men can do it in 16 days so we need to find out what is the value of x so using the calculations this is 8 2z this is 8 3z and this is 2 2z so sending plus 2 towards this side 2 3z is 6 minus 2 is equal to x therefore how many men are required that is the third option four men should accompany with this three women so that the work can be done in 16 days let's see the next question a b and c can complete a job working individually 10 days 20 days and 60 days respectively so let us first write down what is the resultant a b c one is 10 the other one is 20 the other one is 60 that means if a can do it in 10 days in one day it can be done one by 10 10th part of the work when b can do it in 20 days then b can finish one day part and one by 20th part of the work c can do it in one by 60th part of the work so if we call get into the logic of for all it is 10 days 20 days 60 days and all if we can go with the basic logic taking the lcm of 10 20 and 60 is the lcm is 60 so since the lcm of 10 20 and 60 10 multiple is 6 10 6 0 is 60 20 3 0 is 60 60 1 0 is 60 that means the whole unit of work to be done is 60 units and a can do one day six units b can do one day three units c can do in one day one unit now the question is how many days will they complete the whole work so the whole work in one day how much part of the work they can do 10 units when all the three are combinedly doing in one day somewhere around 10 units they are asking if a b and c are combined 60 units can be done in how many days that is nothing but 60 units and per day 10 units so 60 by 10 the resultant is 6 days therefore all the three can combinedly do it in 6 days next question a can do a piece of work in 18 days b in 36 days and c in 54 days same way the same model which is 18 days a and b 36 days same way c 54 days so the lcm of 18 36 and 
is 108. So indirectly he is saying that the total 108 units should be completed. Since it is 108 units to be completed, the multiple of 18 to 108 is 1860. The multiple of B 36 is 3630 and C 5420. So the according to the question, it is given that A can do 6 units in one day, B can do 3 units in one day, C can do 2 units in one day. Now let us read the question. A starts the work and is joined by B after one day. So initially A started, that is A can do one day 6 units. Now after one day now B joined. Along with whom even A is also there. From then C joins them after 4 more days. Since C is not there for those 4 days, those 4 days who is working? Both A and as well as B. That is 6 plus 3. Now whatever the particular work has been done is 6 plus 3 is 9, 9 4 is 36, 36 plus 3 is 42 units is already been done. And now C joined. If all the 3 are combinedly doing, the total work done is 11 units per day. Now out of 108 units, 42 units is already been done. That is 108 minus 42. So what is the remaining work to be done? 66 units is to be done. Now who is been added with A and B? C is also added. With all the three in one day, they can do 11 units. So 66 by 11 is nothing but six days. So the question is in how many more days will the work be completed? In next 60 day, in the next six days, the work will be completed. So in some models the question will be asked what are the total number of days taken? So here A has taken one day, here both A and B has taken four days and total A, B, C has taken six days. Then the answer will be one plus four plus six eleven days. But to make us confused he has given that eleven in the first option. So we need to be very careful whenever these kinds of questions is there is asked about how many more days more days is the extra days after C has joined let us see the next model now the model is both men and women combinedly doing so now the question is three men and six women can do a piece of work in 12 days five men and six women can do with the same work in 9 days. Now we know M1 D1 is equal to M2 D2. So let us multiply 12 into 12 into 3 M plus 6 W is equal to the same work 9 days 5 M plus 6 W. So this is 3 3 this is 3 4 is 4 3 is 12 men plus 4 6 is 24 women 3 5 is 15 men 3 6 is 18 women now bring all the men to one side and women to one side then 6 women is equal to 3 men that is 2 women is equal to 1 man so we got a relation now 2 women is equal to 1 man now what is the question now in a how many days can 3 men and 3 women complete the work so since 2 women is equal to 1 man then 3 men is equal to obviously 6 women. So instead of 3 men and 3 women, we can substitute instead of 3 men, we can substitute 6 women. So it is 6 women plus 3 women. How many days? But whereas in the given question or here, instead of 3 men, if we can substitute 6 women or here, this is 6 women, this is 6 women, total 12 women. This 12 women can do 12 days. Now, 9 women can do in how many days? 6 plus 3 is 9. So, I'm writing here 6 plus 3 is 9 women. How many days? Again, 
m1 d1 is equal to m2 d2 so 12 into 12 is equal to 9 into x so we need to find out what is the value of x so this is somewhere around 144 by 9 144 by 9 is nothing but 9 16 there therefore how many days 16 days that's the first option let's see the next question a b and c can complete a certain work in 8 16 and 12 days respectively if the work in rotation what do you mean by rotation alternate after a b will do after b c will do so again the same basic unitary method a b c this is 8 this is 16 and this is 12 so the lcm of 8 16 and 12 first we need to find out what is the lcm of 8 16 and 12 since everything is of a 4 multiple 4 2 are 4 3 are uh, 4 4 are and 4 3 are so everything is of a same multiple so what can be the lcm the lcm is 24 i'm sorry it is 48 since 16 is there it is 48 now this is 8 6 are this is 16 3 is there and this is 12 4 is there so again we have done the same model what we have done previously a can do it in six day particular day six units b can do particular day three units c can do particular day four units now the question is when they are doing on a rotation basis we need to complete 48 units so first day a first day a should be done next b should be done next three c should be done so six plus three nine nine plus four thirteen so after completion of three days how many units are been completed 13 units now the question is total 48 units should be completed so the next multiple of 13 is nothing but 13 threes are is 39 13 fours are is 52 so 13 threes are is 39 same way 3 threes are is 9 days so is indirectly we got in 9 days we can complete 39 units since in 9 days we can complete 39 units now still there are 9 more units left out now on the 10th day only A is doing where 6 units on the 11th day only B is doing 3 units so within 11 days what is happening 39 plus 6 plus 3 is 48 therefore within 11 days 48 units have been done so the answer is 11 days this is pipes and systems same as time and work what we have done until now the only thing that we need to know is that filling is always a positive sign emptying is always a negative sign now three taps can fill an empty system system is a tank in 12 18 and 24 minutes so a is there b is there c is there 12 18 24 now again same model we need to find out what is the lcm of 12 18 and 24 commonly it is 6 2 zero, it is 6 3 zero, and this is 6 4 zero. now we need to find out what is the lcm of this the lcm of 12 18 and 24 since uh, 6 is a multiple of all those and we still have 2 3 6 2 are and 6 3 are and 6 4 are what is the nearest multiple of 12 18 and 24 to make you get knowledge i am once again showing how to do lcm of 12 18 and 24 so since we have the same common factor 12 18 and 24 as 6 it is 6 2 are it is 6 3s are and 6 4s are again let us multiply with 2 it's 2 1s are 3s are 2s are so it is 6 2s 12 12 3s 36 36 2s are is 72 this is how we can do lcm so now this is 12 6s are this is 18 4s are and this is 24 3s are 
now a can do six units that is it can fill six units b can fill four units and c can fill three units now the question is after three minutes after the first tap was open so for the first three minutes only tap a is there the second tap was also open three minutes after the first tap was open the second tap was also open after three more minutes means the first tap is open for three minutes now after three more minutes in the sense both the first tap and as well as the second tap both of them are been opened six plus four is ten so how many units are been completed till now six three is eighteen three tens thirty thirty plus eighteen is forty eight units forty eight units are already been done out of seventy two so what is still to be done is 72 minus 48 is 24 units now this 24 units now this says that after three more minutes the third tap was open and the first two taps were shut after the three minutes the first two taps were shut now who is there only c is been open so this 24 units only c is open so that is 24 by 3 what is 24 by 3? 8. Therefore, how many minutes? 8 minutes. Thank you so much.